Hi there, I'm Christina with It Is A Keeper. Today I'm showing you how to make the most delicious grilled Brazilian pineapple. A few years ago, I ate it at a Brazilian steakhouse and fell in love with this sweet and simple dessert. I love the way the pineapple caramelizes and absorbs the smokiness from the grill. This recipe is quick and easy to make, but really makes an impression. Now, before we get started, make sure you click on the red subscribe button below so you're notified whenever I share a new recipe. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is cut our pineapple down. Now, I do have a video on my channel that shows you how to cut a pineapple step by step, but you could just watch along here or check that video out. We're just lopping off the top and the bottom and then run your knife down the side. There are tools that you can use to help you um, cut a pineapple. I'll put a link to those in the show notes. However, for this, if you want it to be authentic, you want your pineapple in the long wedges. However, that's just for presentation. It doesn't change the outcome of the recipe at all. So I'm just going through and removing any of those eyes off of there. Starts to get a little slippy once you get all the, all the skin off, so just be careful with your fingers. And then I usually just kind of run my knife around the bottom, just taking off any of those, um, the eyes or the any green that's left. Just doing a little trim work here. Okay, beautiful. So now that we have our pineapple trimmed up, we're just going to cut it down the center. And then we're gonna cut each half into halves again. And then to get that core out, that center is kind of tough. I just kind of go in at a 45 degree angle on each side, not all the way through, just so it meets in the middle and that core comes right out. Then we're just going to cut those in half again. So 45 degree angle. Like I said, it's very slippery, so watch your fingers. And one more. So to make the topping for our pineapple, I have some brown sugar in a bowl, and I'm going to add some ground cinnamon and just a pinch of salt. Now you might think salt and sugar, but it really does help bring everything together and make it a lot less cloyingly sweet. So I'm just going to get that stirred together, get the salt mixed in and the cinnamon and brown sugar together. Beautiful. Now we are going to coat our pineapple wedges with the brown sugar mixture. So I like to just use my hands for this. And you're just going to pat it in there. Let me get them all in a single layer here. And the pineapple is so juicy that it just really sucks up all the sugar that sticks right to it, almost like glue. <laughs> so I'm just switching the sides, oops, so that everything gets coated. Definitely not a neat process, but this is so good. and then make sure those edges are, there's four sides here, so we gotta make sure they all get coated. I mean, I just love pineapple to begin with. I can't imagine, like grilling pineapple just plain is delicious, but this takes it over the top.
All right. Just gonna get it all on there. We'll make sure everything's coated before we get it on the grill pan. So it looks almost like we buried our pineapple in our mixture. All right, I'm gonna clean up my hands and then we're gonna get this grilling. Okay, so I have my grill pan heating up over a medium high heat. That's going to ensure we get a nice caramelization. So I'm just going to make sure each pineapple wedge is fully coated in the brown sugar and then get it in the pan. So I'm just kind of turning it around on the platter. Ooh, that sizzle. Okay, all we're looking for is this pineapple to get, oh, look at that, nice and syrupy and glazed. Oh yeah. pineapple off. I have it here on this platter. Doesn't it look incredible? So good, but we're not done yet. We're gonna take all those juice and the glaze that's in our pan and we're just going to drizzle that right over top. Oh, look at that thick syrup. Divine. I can't wait to cut into this. I'm going right in here. It's so soft. Tender. Just look at that. Delicious. Mmm. Oh, I really don't think there's anything better. This is such a great treat. Now, you could take this over the top by taking a scoop of vanilla ice cream, cutting it up, and serving it on top with that leftover glaze, I mean, heaven. So good. You guys need to try this recipe. It's definitely a keeper. Thanks for watching. You can get the full printable recipe in the video description below. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. And check out the rest of my videos where you can find more of my favorite easy recipes and quick tips. I'll see you next time. Bye.